Well, welcome, 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 welcome back. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call this. New tool, new tool Tuesday, or cool tool Tuesday. God, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> that's an easy one to get wrong. But been saving this stuff up for quite a while now. Got some items last month. Uh, might as well go ahead and show y'all what I've got. One of the items I got before Christmas. I was going to make its own video, but I'm going to include it in this video. Another item was a uh, warranty from Gear Rich. I wasn't going to make its own video, but hey, why not? Just put it all in one. Make it a nice little long video. But anyway, first one I've got I bought from uh, Lowe's Home Improvement. It's the Klein Tools multi bit screwdriver nut and driver. Screwdriver nut driver set. Let's see, it is made in Taiwan. Mm -mm. It is all in the dark. Well, anyway, it's made in Taiwan. Let's see if we can get a close up of that. Guess not. I don't have a professional camera, I'm using a phone. <laughs> Hold that. Without a shine on it. The big one is the 11 in 1. It's got all these different ones in there. It's got the number one and number two Phillips. It's got the 3 16 and quarter inch flathead. It's got the one and two inch square head. It's got the T10 and T15. It's got the quarter inch, 5 16 and 3 8 uh, I guess, star bit. If that's what you want to call it. Or Looks like Allen. Allen bit. This uh, Klein Tools part number on that is three two five zero zero. For the whole kit, part number is eight five five one eight. Again, it is by Klein Tools. Klein Tools is a really nice, uh, really nice brand out there. More for the electrical field. Uh, this one is a six in one. It's got the number one and number two uh, Phillips. The 3 16 and quarter inch flat and then a quarter inch and 5 16 allen head I guess you can use these little things as uh, nut drivers too but not a bad little uh, not a bad little find I think I paid like 20 bucks for this set you never have enough uh, multi multi bit screwdrivers then I'm done with this and go the garbage <laughs> that's the first item Second item, got from Midwest Tool Review. I'll drop his link down in the description below if y'all want to go check out his channels. He's got two different channels. He's got Midwest Tool Review and he's got uh, Midwest Patina Works. One channel is basically about tools and stuff like that and his other channel is about restorations. But he was selling a bunch of, bunch of snap-on rats and stuff like that. He didn't have to, but he had too many of them. Unlike me. <laughs> yeah, I've probably got over 100 ratchets by now. If you haven't seen that short on my on my channel, uh, go back into the channels. Find the shorts par uh, part, and it's in there. Uh-huh. Got over 100 different ratchets. This one is the Snap-on Green Handle FH... O P or F H D F nine three six. It is an indexing one, also flathead. It is USA made. Got the green instinct handle on it. If y'all can see that, <clears throat> it did come with this Apex organizer uh, thing for your toolbox, uh, ratchet holder. It's also magnetic. Yep. Wow. Can't shake it loose. Oh, come off. There it did. <laughs> if you swing it hard enough, it'll come off. But other than that, I mean, it pretty much stays uh, steady in your toolbox. Put that little magnet down here. Uh -huh. It holds it in place on your, in your toolbox. I don't know if necessarily if I'm going to use this. Um, 
another video that will be coming up probably in the next couple months will be my uh, ratchet drawer organizers or organization uh, topic. I'm going to go in very good detail about each ratchet that I have. So stay tuned for that video. But that is a snap-on ratchet. This is a 3 8 ratchet. All right, next one I've got. I had a warranty <coughs> one from Gear Rich. I did it online. Part number is 81364. It is the half inch XL 120XP. I believe that's like 18 to 20, 18 to 24 inches long. I'm not totally for sure. It does have the on off switch right here it is raised up a little bit above the uh, head of the ratchet it's fairly easy to uh, do your own warranty through gear wrench all you have to do is go on gearwrench.com find a warranty slot and uh, they'll want a picture of the broken tool your information Maybe where you got it from, stuff like that. But it's fairly easy to do. Or if you got an independent truck that sells gear wrench, have them do it for you. This this particular ratchet is made in. I don't know. It doesn't say. Made in Taiwan. Made in Taiwan. But it is made in Taiwan. Uh, we'll, we'll put this thing to use and see how it holds up. Last but not least, found this at a pawn shop. It is the snap on half inch, 25, either 25 or 50 foot pounds, 250 foot, 250 foot pounds of torque. Picked this little bugger up from the pawn shop for right at 150 bucks out the door. It is the half inch. Keep it there. It's the click style torque wrench. It ain't the digital torque wrench. It is USA made. It also has Newton meters on it. So, I mean, can't really go wrong. Proof's in the pudding, folks. Flip it over. It is enclosed head. The head is, you cannot work on the head by itself. So if you have to warranty this thing out, you really have to, uh, well it says, it said it was enclosed head, but there's two screws right here. Might be able to get that backing plate off of there and put some grease and stuff in there. I'm yet to uh, take this to a snap-on truck and have them check calibration on it. As soon as I find one, we'll do that. But, Bruce in the pudding. You want snap-on tools, you don't want to pay tool truck prices. Go ahead and check out your local pawn shops. You never know what you might find. It's a $475 torque wrench I got for 150 bucks. So, but that's all I've got for this one, folks. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Share out with your friends. Hulk smash that like button. Ring that bell, turn on all notifications. Keep you up to date on next videos or live streams. Remember, I've got a giveaway in March. We'll be doing that in March. More details to come on that. But until the next time, it's Rage of Cajun saying, you'll keep those wheels spinning, your beavers grinning, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.